Hello, hello everyone. We continue our Pokemon adventure. Today, tonight, in fact, it might very well be the end of our Pokemon Yellow Adventure. Last time, we defeated Giovanni, leader of Team Rocket, and now, with our middling team, we are going to be heading towards Victory Road, Indigo Plateau, and the end of this game. So let us see if victory is here, or if victory eludes us. I forgot that I don't... Why does they even have that road? It just goes to a twig. But either way, we go on. And perhaps even meet our rival. Yep, because I knew that we were going to fight him over here. What? Neon? What a surprise to see you here! So you're going to Pokemon League? You collected all the badges too? <laughs> That's cool! Then I'll whip you Neon as a warm-up for the Pokemon League. Come on! Let us see if he actually lives up to it. Let's see, he has a full team. Good for you. Hey, you sent out a Sand Slash. I'll have to change out to War Turtle. Probably should have seen this guy. cat out as we get smiggity smacked a million times quite literally apparently hit four times I shall use surf and hope it kills I pray I pray for a murder today how dare you Jesus has failed me of course you got critical hit after critical hit what an asshole. This will send out him. Resurrect my dude. Just because spite. And also because there just should not be this many freaking crits in this game. At least he's a veritable moron and decided to go... I'm gonna poison this. I presume Venusaur is part poison type with how much it just refuses to die. Oh yeah, and we skip all this. It's about to use Executor. Now we send out the Charizard. Well, no, not Executor, Execute. Because there's so much a difference. <laughs> Flamethrower. Yay, it's a murder! It actually worked. Unlike War Turtle. He's about to use Magneton. Ba -ba -ba. I forget who we used last time. I'll use Goblin this time. And I shall quickly use... I guess we don't need to. I was like, no, oh, should I heal up my boy with a hyper potion, my war turtle? And he's like, nah, I won't. I shall use psychics instead. And he'll use supersonic like an asshole. How dare you confuse my goblin? How dare you try to confuse him even more? He's a good boy. He finally used a different move, though. I still don't know what Sonic Boom is. At least the Magneton will be dead. Using that weird anomalous move, Sonic Boom. Yay, level up. About to use Ninetales. Now you listen here, you little shit. You fucking work this time. Or you'll never work in this town again, you hear me? Why do they always survive? 
please don't get a crit. Yay! And there was much rejoicing. And then skip the experience. I'll... About to use Kadabra. Who should we send out to fight Kadabra? How about we get crits with our our lovely la laser leaves? No, razor leaf. Quick, go, razor leaf. Oh wait, I forgot. This does a lot of damage because he's for some reason. I think it's because he's part poison. I'm dumb. Ah, I'm just. I have not been in the headspace today. My headspace has been blah. Use fire blast. Just for whatever reason, my brain has been lopsided. Ah, at least he burned. Also, is trying to burn out my eyes. And we will uh, raise from the dead once more. Ooh, because we know fly, we can go to the choice places and get the best items. <laughs> but it failed, and he gets hurt by the burn. I forget if burn, I, like, I think I heard that burn has, like, a secondary effect on top, but I forget. Bleh. Now, don't kill the Charizard. It'll be very rude. At least you killed yourself with that burn, which is hilarious. I was about to send out Vaporeon. Hey, Venusaur, you can do this. Or at least you better. Unless it has Aurora Beam. Which would just be like, why? <laughs> I doubt it will. But you never know with this game. It's Pokemon Critical Hit Edition. Ah, 69. Hey, isn't that just like, get rid of, yeah. Just gets rid of all status effects. And now mist, which is probably a status effect, rather than mist. What does that do? I don't know. I have crit razor leaf though, and that works for me. And now it just went away. I shall not cut you. Ah, I shall now vine whip you. And it just disappeared. Magic. Everyone's leveling up. <laughs> Everyone is leveling up! What? I was just careless. Sorry, War Turtle, you haven't learned Hydra Pump yet. That loosened me up. I'm ready for Pokemon League. Neon, you need more practice. But hey, you know what? <laughs> you know that. I'm out of here. Smell you later. He is an odd man. We'll go heal everyone up and then go on to Victory Road. I mean, we could fly to wherever and pick up good items. Hey, Striker, fly me to... Saffron City. We'll pick up some items there. And then we can fly back. Yeah, I was just like, which aisle is the market on? Had to double check, triple check. First, do I have anything to really sell? Ish, ish, but let's see. Got revives, just normal revives. I guess they save the max revives are either super random or are league only. I'm gonna pick up a lot. 
lot of hyper potions. Now, my bird, fly me, and we will then actually diddly dee. We will diddly dee, diddly be. And now we will heal. So if we need to teleport back, we can. Even though I think we should be already, like, locked in to use this one, it's better safe than sorry. As I've already said, my brain is on backwards today for some reason. Probably because I put all of my energy into finishing an art piece. Part of me kind of wants to show it on stream, but at the same time, that would probably take effort. I'd have to mess with the scenes. And that's kind of annoying. And I'm still a bit self-conscious about me art. A level 2 Nidoran. You are literally not worth killing. You're but a baby. But a child. Hmm, I wonder, what's in these grasses? What is the level differentiation? Level 50? No, just level 2. That's kind of funny. What's this sign? Pokemon League Front Gate. Oh yeah, because it's like a whole thing, Victory Road. It's a big gate. Oh, that is the Boulder Badge. Go right ahead. You can pass here only if you have the Cascade Badge. Oh, that is the Cascade Badge. Okay then, please, go on ahead. It's like built like a castle. Indigo Plateau, the highest Pokemon authority, Pokemon League. HQ. You can pass here only if you have the Thunder Badge. Oh, that is the Thunder Badge. Okay then, please go right ahead. Odd that the pathing goes to the left. While there's a gate right there. That's kind of funny. Who designed this place, Madman? You can pass here only if you have the Rainbow Badge. That is the Rainbow Badge. Okay then, go right ahead. Since we can probably run into random Pokemon here, let's put on our best. And completely get rid of the epic music that was playing. I'm just looking to make sure there aren't just random items they're hiding from me. <laughs> It's just so silly to just see a normal swimmer sprite and be like, you can pass your only if you have the soul badge. That is a soul badge. Okay, then please go right ahead. Why do, Why is there an island? You can pass your only if you have the marsh badge. That is the marsh badge. Okay, then please go right ahead. Who did design this place? We haven't even run into any random Pokemon, so I guess it's impossible. Well, now we're into the random Pokemon area. Do do da 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 da. You can pass here only if you have the volcano badge. That is the volcano badge. Okay, then please go right ahead. But I want to see the monsters. I guess this is just for show. place is so wacky. Weird. You can pass here only if you have the Earth Badge. That is the Earth Badge. Please, go right ahead. Victory Road Gate, Pokemon League. They just have a bunch of guards to check people's badges. It's a little weird design, but okay. We shall go ahead on to Victory Road. At least we don't need to use Flash. That, at the very least, is a nice thing. What's this? 
Oh, the button. I need to put the rock there. Yeah. Level 36 Geodude, huh? We'll destroy you. Watch him survive, despite me. Good. If I expect the unexpected, the unexpected will be expected and therefore will fail. Charizard, you strong f We just need to be careful and properly do this after we kill the the next rock to get thrown at my head. Level 26, probably not even worth it. Since we're running into a lot of rocks, I'll go put War Turtle on. See if we can maybe boost him a bit. I almost pushed it too early. We gotta be careful. Okay. We push it here. Up two. That's how we do it. It's just a bunch of sentient rocks flying at my face. And one of them's level 41. Sir. I probably should have brought restores for my moves. But I've never had to do that before. Well, I think I did it once just because, but bleh. At least I think that's what I had to do. It was made to be like a puzzle that way. So I only assume. You are worth killing. Bubble beam. Imagine a rock dying to bubbles. Oh, and that got rid of that platform. Gotta fight all the people. I wonder if you are good enough for me. Stranger danger. Please stop. Double please stop. Oh no, it's a Persian. I don't like it. Quit biting my turtle. And once again, that Persian is thick. And it wants to give me money, apparently. I don't know how to feel about that. Of course you would survive. Ah, I see. You are one of the bastard arts as well. <laughs> Luckily, it's speed fell, allowing me... Ooh, that means it probably won't get as many crits. Yay! We're trying to coerce me, thick Persian. I cannot be bought. Skip, skip, skip. Skip, skip, skip. You can stay out. But because I am paranoid... I, too, will Hyper Potion, and hope that it uses Tail Whip. It used Quick Attack instead. Profound sa- <laughs> Well, that was a critical hit, Surf. Oh, now you're doing the- <laughs> You're gonna Hyper Potion that? Too bad. Bubble Beam. And now your Pokemon is dead. Victory is mine! I lost out! Yeah, because you can't... I guess that's meant to be, like, a quick way out, I suppose? Because there's no way to get out elsewise. 
no, my brain. Basic, I'm, I'm, my brain is on backwards, like I said. But yeah, basically, that rock, if you pushed it up, it wouldn't go anywhere. Makes me wonder if I went the wrong way with the the other rock. Did I outpuzzle myself already? Let's see. Do you need healing? No, but let's see. Who needs leveling? Let's try Charizard, see if there's... This guy has anything ready for Charizard beating. I can see you're good. Let me see exactly how good. What am I, a slab, at, a slab of meat at the market? I picked the perfect Pokemon for this. Flamethrower. Booyah. About to send out War Turtle, huh? Venusaur. Razor Leaf. For that nice crit stab. Because for some reason, Razor Leaf never, ever fails to crit. And it's just hilarious. Who's next? Charmeleon, huh? Works out perfectly. War Turtle. But I gotta be careful. This one probably knows Flamethrower. Booyah! Type advantages. At least this place makes sense for type advantages. And a Charizard. Why do you have a Charmeleon and a Charizard? Surf. Oh, you're... You're one of them. Too bad you're not going to be able to get a hit off. Oh no, he might get a hit off. Bubble babe. Okay, never mind. He's just pumping his Charizard up with drugs during the match. And now he's dead. He was probably the drugs. Because really, if we all think about it, it was probably the drugs. <laughs> I had a chance. You actually kind of did, but then you lost it when you decided to do drugs instead. Remember, kids. Cool guys don't do drugs. Oh, hey, it's the first frickin' Onyx I've ever seen in the wild. <laughs> Let's try slow. Oh, it's a rock. That won't do much. I'm dumb. And so is this Onyx. Hey, War Turtle, want to get hit with rage? Come on, it's just a giant rock. Bye bye. Skippy skippy. Skippy skippy. Well, let's use strength that we still have. Oh, these bastards. I forgot to take uh, my dude off, but luckily it's a, a bad fight anyway. Not worth doing, so we can run. And swap out to... I don't know. I guess since there's still a bunch of rocks in this place, I'll give War Turtle a rest. I'll go for this one. Ah. I'll get rid of the Pokeball, I guess. Because it's a single Pokeball. Rare candy, okay. I wonder if the rock stays there, permanently locking you out of that, or what? I don't know. I am not knowledgeable. My brain is fried. Aha. Uh -huh. 
Ah, a worthy Geodude to murderize with Razor Leaf. Feel the power of the forever critical leaves. Ah! Please be worth killing. That actually is a surprise. Even if it kind of isn't because it's a random encounter and isn't a goal bat, so it's going to be like a hundred anyway. Why are you just wasting my time? Luckily, my Venusaur knew not to waste my time, even though we are still wasting our time. Stop wasting my time, you stupid bat! Yeah, not really worth it. Note to self. Ignore Zubats. They're just not worth it. And then again, probably that item isn't worth it either. Hmm. This is another one of those that's probably just meant for a quick escape. So that you could, like, push it down. Welcome to another test of skill. Aha! A gull bat. This one might actually be worth murdering. But because I don't know... Ah, eh, goblin. You tried to murder my beloved salad. Instead, you're just gonna die. Bye-bye. Yep, that... It is criminal that... A non, like a level 44 freaking Zubat gives 160 experience. A, a level 39 Golbat literally gives like five times that. It's ridiculous. Ah, you gonna fight me? Hey, it's Moltres. Victory Road is the final test for trainers. But yeah, apparently Moltres was supposed to have its own, like, volcano, like, dungeon. But then that was cut, and it was moved to Victory Road. But then it was supposed to have its own, uh, room in Victory Road, which also got cut. Moltres just got the short end of the stick every single time. Poor birdie. Ah... You are a bastard. Then again, if it was a fighting move, it would have had stab and crit. So, maybe I should be happy that they labeled it normal in this game. Sure, I'm gonna goblin you up. Mainly because I hate you. Confusion. Probably should have used a uh, Psybeam. I got confusion worked. Yeah, because it was Machop, so it's weaker. So in the end, so, tomato, tomato. Eh, we'll stick. Now, we'll just side beam. Blast the Machoke into a wall. Yay! Leveled up the boy! I, uh... For a moment, the blocks came back. Because the world is cruel. Since you're a, a sing... Yeah, you're not even evolved, so you aren't even really worth killing. You're probably gonna give 160 like that Zubat. Probably less. If you give over 200, I might consider you worth it. Uh, then again... I am going by the split count, so it should be more like 400, so that Zubat would have been like 300 or something. But hey, come on. 
What are you? No more room for items. At this point, I'm never going to use these, so I guess I'll toss you. Wait, uh, that old, that secret, no, that blah, 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 rare candy. Where's the rare candy? I know I got rare candy and I want to throw it away. Here, rare candy. There you are. Bye-bye. I didn't go down all the way. My brain was just like, oh, TM27, that's the end, and blah, blah. TM05. Yay, one of the, well, TMs are going to go anyway. TM05, the hell are you? Mega Kick. No. What are you? Fissure. No, I don't want to sell you. Or destroy you. Psywave. Now you I will get rid of, because I don't trust you. You're inconsistent. Fight me. Ah, so you wish to challenge the Elite Four? I'll settle for challenging you and murdering you with a vengeance. Oh boy, a drowse. Do not put me to sleep, drowsy. Hey, yeah, survived. Bye bye, drowsy. <laughs> About to use Hypno. I guess I'll keep Razor Leaf in him. No, not po <laughs> oh yeah, my dude is part is immune to poison. Suck it, dude. Why does the psychic type even know poison gas? Is it a terrorist? How dare you. I remember reading that apparently when trainers withdraw their Pokemon, it messes with the experience uh, throwing about, so that's kind of funny. Please don't kill my boy. Oh yeah, I forgot. But hey, Hyper Potion. I keep forgetting that grass, well, it's less grass and it's just that he's part poison, so he gets affected. Oh. What have I done? I shall throw out Charizard. Fire Blast. Cause screw you. And he said screw you right back. Slash! Kadabra is kind of scary. I'll swap out. War Turtle, you should get some experience, especially on this weakened foe. <gasps> Bubble Beam. I would have laughed if he was just like, I withdraw my Pokemon. Yay, level up. Stay out there, War Turtle. You can win the day. Surf, why would you do that? You're not even hit. Did I give you PTSD by making you watch all your friends die? Bubble beam. No, not the psychic. Please kill. It didn't. How dare you? Well, you picked, like, the worst one for you. 
And you tried it again. I will double disable your blizzard. Fool. And no, I am the victory. Oh, sorry, War Turtle. Uh, you can't evolve yet. You haven't learned the diddly D. Come on, I'll whip you. Now that's just that, that's just rude. He probably just means like whip it good, I'll beat you, but come on. Razor leaf. Oh, it's using fury swipes. Luckily they didn't crit, or else they would just go on forever. And crit. Had almost killed. Cut. Don't screech at the salad. It's a good boy. Yeah, level up. Ah, this is the perfect matchup. Now you die. Got bleh. Brain. I got whipped! And you forever will be. Ah, full heal. That stacks. Ah, just a Zubat. You're not even worth killing. You give a paltry amount of experience. Goo way. What are you guarding? Is Victory Road too tough? I don't know. Are you? <laughs> you only have one dude, my dude. It is an annoying dude, though. <laughs> Quick Razor Leaf! Uh, substitute? I haven't seen this before. Uh, just cut the substitute. How rude. Oh, what? Yeah, get back in here. Oh, it just... It cuts out for everyone. Cut the substitute again, I guess. I don't know how substitute works. Oh, I guess it either works on an attack basis or damage basis, and I'm not sure which. But hey, <laughs> 699, that makes it worth it. <laughs> well done. You beat up my mime. No more rooms for items, but I have a stack of full heals. Well, but now the thing's getting thrown. What do ethers even do? I think those refill... Yeah, I think that refills... Yeah, we'll toss the Great Ball. We're not catching any Pokemon this late into the game. Wait. Uh... Well, we're not catching Articuno just yet, because I don't have any balls left. I mean, it's not like I was going to use it anyway, so it'll be a little disappointing to pass that up, but... Eh. If I wasn't going for the kind of gimmick using all the starter Pokemon... Basically, if this weren't Pokemon Yellow, and it gave you... And if it weren't for the fact that it gives you all of the starter Pokemon, I would 
probably not go for this as much. I forget. Bleh. Speed up through the experience halls. It is ever so tempting to want to speed up through encounters and stuff, but it's just like, that kind of ruins the spirit of things, unless you're going for a really specific kind of long run like the... Oh, I forgot! No! I keep forgetting. For some reason, my brain is like, yeah, this will be super effective against the same Pokemon that it hasn't been super effective against for the last 50 times. Uh, the one time that the AI using the same attack multiple times actually worked for it. I'm dumb. And now I use Psybeam. Bye-bye, Golbat. Give me your money. And by money, I mean life force. <laughs> we got this indeed, Dr. Sofa King. Except for Moltres, because I don't have Pokeballs. Profound sadness. <laughs> the one downside of not catching a bunch of Pokemon. We shall raise a leaf. Take this. The Forever Crit Razor Leaf. And skip ahead, because that is just way too long. Fight me. I heard rumors of a child prodigy. That be me. I defeated a crime syndicate. Multiple times, apparently. Well, let's see how cut works against you. Of course you miss. And thank God that missed. I would not want to experience. Never mind. Alright. I'm not dealing with this. Hey, Charizard. Uh, well, this is... I probably should have left him out, healed Charizard, then brought Charizard out. I'm dumb. I am inefficient because brain on backwards. <laughs> Prodigy is a strong word for fuckboy. Nah, red isn't a fuckboy. That would be blue. Blue is the fuckboy. <laughs> Quit throwing coconuts at my dragon. He does not deserve it. And Slash, to finish you off, prune the garden. And Cloyster, we will swap that out. Hmm. Eh, let's work off that sleep. The salad shall work off the sleep. Ah, it knows Aurora Beam. Oh, God. Hmm. You have angered me, so I send out the goblin. Silly you. He is not going to use a physical attack. He's going to throw you against the wall. And finish you off of confusion. And I guess I could have used Pikachu, but Pikachu is kind of here as a formality more than anything. Because poor, poor Pikachu does not have the best stats, even in the game that is, it is named after. Silly Arcanine. Roar has never worked in this game in a player battle. Why is it even a move for you? It doesn't make sense. Now I just imagine that whenever a Pokemon does it, it's just, yeah, them roaring. And it's just like, it does nothing. You're, you failed to intimidate the turtle. Congratulations. 
The rumors were true. You're right. I'm a monster. Yay, another mech's revive. I just need to find where to push this goddamn rock. I was wondering what that silhouette was. Hmm. I shall send out the goblin. And then I need to use a hyper potion on him before I forget, but I probably will forget again. Ah, uh, yes. The greatest normal move. The one that is named after a martial arts move. I will not let that go, Yellow. I will not let it go. I know they change it in future generations, but you did see you had it here this entire time. And you will not live it down. Same thing with Gust. <laughs> Sexy Machoke. Indeed. Up there with thick Persian for some reason. No more room for items because I can't get that. I don't. I really should have put away these key items that I don't need anymore. But at the same time, I ran into a second Snorlax, so I don't know. Mega Kick. I'm not going to teach that to anyone, so bye bye. Then again, most of these items aren't even really worth it anyway. <laughs> Traded a TM for a TM. This is Pokemon. And what are you? Exp <laughs> no, I don't think I will. The TM! Kill yourself! No, thank you very much, I will not. <laughs> I might as well work off to sleep now before we run into a thing that we actually want. Ah! I see! And still asleep through that. Ah! Are you gonna do it too? <laughs> Just a lie. In the Pokemon. Ah! As I was going to say, in the Pokemon War, they didn't use landmines, they used Geodudes. Just self-destruct, after self-destruct. <laughs> At least here it makes kind of sense for the wild Pokemon, but it's also kind of dark. The rocks are rebelling. The rocks are rebelling to devour our souls. Gotta move that rock and press that button. Step by step. I am Sisyphus, so long as it doesn't roll backwards, I will succeed. <laughs> now I kind of... Pokemon, except it's the Greek myths. The prodigy rolls Sisyphus's boulder up a mountain and keeps it there. Sisyphus cries. No more exploding for you. But at the same time, if it did explode, it's kind of free experience, because it doesn't do that much damage. My Venusaur can suffer like two to three explosions and be fine. Though I wonder if there's a difference between explosion and self-destruct. A part of me says no, but the game says yes. Send out the Goblin, because I'm not falling for that... Oh, maybe grass will be super effective this time. Nope. But this old song and dance is still here. My uber-intelligent goblin is confused. But it... I'm not going to say... I was going to say a thing, but I'm not going to jinx myself. I refuse. Goblin is doing well against confused rays. So I'm not going to jinx him now. Welcome to Pokemon's favorite pastime. Press... That button. I'm. I still find it funny that turning acts. Oh hey, it's the Graveler. Haven't run into one of you in the wild yet. Uh, raise it. You're gonna. You're gonna self-destruct too, aren't you? If this doesn't kill, you're gonna self-destruct. I just know it. 
It's just like, ha ha ha, I'm a bigger bomb. Well, you're dead either way, so bye bye. Yeah, level up for me! Maybe I should. I was gonna say, maybe I should send out War Turtle, let War Turtle get some levels, but I was like, oh yeah, his power points are really low. That's the real challenge of this place. I'm gonna run, because you're probably gonna blow up, and I want to save my power points. And then I guess let's go down this ladder, see where this goes. Oh. If you can get through here, you can go meet the Elite Four! But what if I want to meet the Elite Five? Or the Elite Beat Agents? Hey, you're not the first. Charmeleon I've run into, but you're two levels lower than the last one. Hey, War Turtle, time for another murder! Well, that's not gonna save you at all. Surf. Bye-bye, Charmeleon. If you were Charizard, maybe you would've lived that. Skip the experience all! Lapras! And then... Hey, Pikachu, we'll give you this. Watch me misread the typing and Lapras actually be immune somehow. Thunderbolt! You poor, poor deer. I swear, if Pikachu gets frozen on the first ice beam... <laughs> My Pikachu is frozen solid! That's a poor baby! Uh, that's also... Like I said, Pikachu is here more as a formality. Because it's just... It's, it's stats are so low. It, it's better than a normal... Blue and... Uh... Blue and red Pikachu. But... Only so much. Only so much. Keep forgetting. He's acceptable. Just skip that part. Lick a tongue. I don't think I fought one of you yet. He's a big boy. And a uh, flamethrower. Hey, good job. Defense, Coral, huh? That won't save you from my critical slash. I was going to have a laugh if it did save it from my critical slash. Basically, every single time I say something that's tempting fate, I'm just like, come on. Give me a reason to react. No! Unbelievable! But you just said I'm... Ah. Moltres is not hard to find at all. What the throw away? What the throw away? It's not like it really matters. I guess it's full heal. All that does is... Get rid of... You know, despite the fact that it's called a full heal, it's just like a status restorer. It gets rid of... Guard spec! Hey, I remember that. I'm not gonna fight you... Bird, because... Who knows, maybe I'll come back and catch you someday. Damn it, the rock reset. Should have seen that one coming. Ah, yeah, another Onyx. Oh boy, it's a big boy. Oh no, I haven't healed my Pokemon. Profound fear. Hyper potion on the deer. I should have... I should have used the full heal on my, my Pikachu. Then again, like I said, Pikachu here is a formality. It can exist as a block of ice, and it won't really change anything much. I'm gonna heal him before I fight the Elite Four anyway. Unless my memory is blasted beyond belief, and there isn't actually a Nurse Joy before the Elite Four. But I don't think my memory's that destroyed. If it is, it'll be hilarious. We're gonna push this again, because it has to do something! It has to. It means something. And now my internet's dying. Why? 
My brain is blasted. My internet's blasted. My inventory is blasted. My Pikachu is frozen today! Everything is going wrong. <laughs> Ah, uh, what can you do? What can you do? Fight the Elite Four. That's what you can do. And that's what I'm going to do, if I can. But first, we'll have to fight this behind door number two. It's a Geodude, a.k.a. the Pokemon Landmine. Let's see, Vine Whip. Bye-bye. Skip, 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 skip. Because that is far too long. On the one hand, I will kind of miss being able to level up all my Pokemon at the same time with the experience all. But at the same, same time, it will be kind of nice to just have it be a single thing. You're, this Pokemon gained experience, and then this one got experience too in later games because of the experience share. And then apparently they go back to the experience all at some point. Which is kind of hilarious to me. All right, now we have to, I was gonna say, now we have to go do a thing, but now the thing has come to us and that thing is another Graveler. Oh, well, you're a decent uh, experience giver. Go, Razorloff. And he's gone! Alright, that's the way we came in. Have we fought you? I don't think we fought you. We've probably already fought this Pokemon that's coming up here. It's another Golbat! I'm probably just gonna leave. Actually, I could throw the Goblin at you. I can throw the Goblin, I can throw the Goblin. Here, have Goblin! Of course you will. People say that the AI chooses attacks at random. I'm pondering if that's correct because of these oddly strategic things that these Pokemon are doing. And I'm not going to risk it. I'm healing the goblin. You... Wait. Haze gets rid of... Confusion? Yeah. So... The Golbat gave me confusion, then cured my confusion. And now it's confusing me again. Why does it have two abilities that cause confusion? What is wrong with you, Golbat? Who hurt you? Besides me. <laughs> so you're telling me, as my internet goes crazy, Golbat knows Supersonic, a move that induces confusion. It also knows Confuse Ray, which induces confusion. And then it only has Wing Attack, because the other move it has is Haze, which gets rid of confusion. I think the real confused Pokemon there is Golbat. <laughs> hmm. I'll throw War Turtle into front. And uh, fight me. Trainers live to seek stronger opponents. At least all the ones here, at least. Probably, yeah. Parasect. A bug type, eh? Surely Blizzard will kill you, because bugs hate the cold! Of course you'd survive that, you... you... <laughs> I'll use Blizzard again! I had the decency to use my Hyper Potions before my fight. Wait, that means that she specifically chose to use a Hyper Potion on her first turn. Madness! It's about to use Dugong. Sure, we'll send out... 
the boy Venusaur because my Pikachu is still frozen today. Ah, it's the first time we've actually fighting a Dugong. We could have traded for a Dugong earlier, even though you can get seals just jumping at you around Articuno's cave. And I think you actually get the option to trade for a Dugong after that, which is hilarious. Yay, level up for the boy! Chansey. Hey, Charizard, you get some practice in. Primarily because it's a normal type. And all my Pokemon are running, I'll have to use my elixirs. Crit that Chansey, send it back to the Nurse Joy. Now I head cannon this trainer in part. <laughs> now I head cannon this trainer in particular as a Nurse Joy that decided to go full on combat and brought her lovely Chansey with her to annihilate the, her opponents. Oh, so strong! Now we just gotta find the place that the block is blocking. There he is again, posing before our very eyes. The Machoke! Why does he have Choke in his name? We'd rather not say. And now, Psybeam. Throw the Muscle Man over the moon! Bye-bye. And now we enter it again. The Super Skip. Ah, that's where it was. And I could have gone that way. But is there even anything there? It's probably just more items. I have all the items I need! Please and thank you. Fight me. Only the Chosen can pass here. I'm the Chosen One? A little boy will defeat Giovanni. <laughs> A part of me wonders if that was just added in because this is the anime special edition. I did I I I thought I had my boy, my salad, out, but I was wrong. Ah! Uh, how does a crab stomp? Surf, I guess. See how little damage that does, and I'll just like cry and throw out my wo Venusaur. Oh, it actually killed. Cool. All right. All right. Venusaur! Oh, wait a minute! Ah! I forgot again. It's a, one of those bastards. They're like, I'm actually a double type. For, so even though I am water type, grass is weak. <laughs> ah! Pokemon typing! It hurts my brain! And he's doing drugs right in front of me. What a bastard. Cut the poison from his veins. Let me guess, that raises your defense. <sighs> then I'll keep cutting. I'll keep cutting. And he'll keep barriering. And he'll keep barriering. Fine. Whip it good. Bye-bye. And who's the last Pokemon to die today? Oh boy, it's a Blastoise. This one should actually be affected. That's a cool sprite. Die. If it was not effective, I was going to cry. <laughs> My super effective crit stab. It should have done more. Blah, 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 blah. And we defeated him. I don't believe it. I met the Chosen One right before my very eyes. And then that trainer went on to become Mickey Mouse, I guess. I'll show you just how good you are. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to run that back on my stream delay. Is that what she said? Yeah, I'll show you just how good you are. Okay. Oh, hey, I picked the perfect Pokemon to annihilate this bastard! <laughs> oh, no, you slashed by accident because I'm impatient. Huh? 
Yeah, I have a vendetta against Bellsprout, now and forever. Bellsprout is an evil Pokemon that deserves to die all the time. Fire Blast. On principle. <laughs> Doo -doo. And what's your final Pokemon? Ooh, a Victory Bell. We haven't seen one of these. The biggest bastard of them all, Fire Blast. Ah, shit. Well. Fuck. Ah, crit super effective. Nice. So, of course. Hydro Pump! Yeah! Yes. Tail Whip. He has no physical attacks left! That means that War Turtle can take place and take point again because he has a move. It's probably gonna be like, yeah, we'll have point like 15. I'm furious! And now, War Turtle, now that you have Hydra Pump! Blastoise! Yeah! Yeah! Hell yeah! <laughs> he looks like he's doing a JoJo pose. Now we're here. All three grand evolutions. Oh, that's just a get out rock. That's a get out rock. I'm gonna have to look and see if I have any status effect heals. An onyx, huh? I have a blastoise. A ro oh, it's only a five user. Hmm. I guess that's your fire blast and not your flamethrower. Okay, fair. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll throw that rock in there. Then I guess we'll jump in after it. Now I have to look and see where this one goes. We'll throw the goblin at you. On principle. And I basically have to wait for my Charizard to die so I can then use one of my revives and a Hyper Potion. <laughs> Profound Sadness. Skip the experience all because that's always fair. Okay, never mind. So we can go back up if we want. Because this place is just a giant goddamn maze. Alright, you fight me. Or have we already fought? Okay. Oh, me dumb. I think. Yeah. We already beat that guy, so we have to go this way. Yes, that's right! There was that one button that didn't have a rock to go to it, and I didn't think much of it at the time. Yeah. So I'll destroy you, go back, use strength, and push that rock all the way home. Wee wee wee. Wee wee! Leave the goblin alone! Psybeam! Alright, now we gotta use some hyper potions. Mainly on the goblin, as Charizard is just tanking that poison like a good boy. Praise be the man! That man being Charizman. Ah, Zubat. You could be level 100 and you wouldn't even be worth killing. Besides the fact that you'd probably kill me, so be gone. Charizard, use strength! And now we push this boulder, slowly, all the way there. Slowly but surely, we'll get there. 
as we have to deal with random battles and poisons. Man, this would actually make a an interesting part of like a Pokemon story. Where a poisoned Charizard is the only one who can move a giant boulder for his team to progress. I really need to get good at art so I can like draw that. Note that down in my art ideas book. And now it's done. We move on to the next floor. I was going to laugh if we got into a random battle. And it's over. We're out of the cave! Indigo Plateau, the ultimate goal of trainers. Oh, it's is this another puzzle? It's a maze. A kind of shitty maze because of its 8-bit nature. But it's still getting me, so it can't be that bad a maze. Whose idea was this? We're going to put a maze in front of our lawn. Why? To confuse them. They already went through a cave. Yes. <laughs> Yo, champ in the making! At Pokemon League, you have to face the Elite Four in succession. If you lose, you have to start all over again. This is it. Go for it! Welcome to our Pokemon Center. The Elite Four. <laughs> How did Pikachu jump up there? He was frozen today. The Elite Four Nurse Joy. You should have to battle her to heal your Pokemon. Well, first, I would actually like to sell. Wait, is there a Pokemon? There's... I can put stuff away and buy stuff from you. Alright, my PC. We'll put away the key items. Like the Poke of Loot. The secret key. The old amber. HM fly. For a white guy. And the TMs. The main thing is, I'm <laughs> I'm gonna be fighting by the skin of my teeth because my Pokemon are pretty low level because I did no grinding. Because I don't want to grind on stream and I don't want to grind off stream. Full restore, max potions. What's a full restore? Ah, uh, just normal revives. But first, I'm gonna quickly look Pokemon full restore, just so I know what I'm buying. Because this game doesn't tell you. You just have to buy them and use them. No marketing in this world. Well, I guess... Decent amount of revives. Fill up the rest. It should have be. Hmm. Can I fly here? Because if I can actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a thing quickly. I'm going to save, and if I can fly, I'll just go in. Uh, if I can fly back to Indigo Plateau, I'm going to fly to uh, Saffron City, buy Hyper Potions because they're all I need. I'll fly to Saffron, buy Hyper Potions, and then come back to the Indigo Plateau, and because I don't really need Max Potions, my Pokémon are kind of low level, so I get to save money, I guess. <laughs> I don't even get any Max Revives, or uh, Full Revives. 
I don't even know what they'd be called. Yeah, I think like Max Revive or something. Blah, brain. I want to buy your grandest hyper potions. Hopefully that'll be enough. Um, and, uh, nope, no ether is here. PowerPoint restoration is out the window. To the Indigo Plateau. Mm, all right. I shall save. Talk to that lady. And then fight the Elite Four. And we'll be done. Depends how, how much of a pain this is. From here on, you face the Elite Four. One by one. If you win, a door opens to the next trainer. Good luck. All right. I'll put Goblin in front so that he can annihilate the first foe, and then I can use uh, super effect switching. Welcome to the Pokemon League. I am Lorelei of the Elite Four. No one can best me when it comes to ice Pokemon. Freezing moves are powerful. Your Pokemon will be at my mercy when they are frozen solid. Ha ha ha! Are you ready? I'm ready for your 10% chance to freeze me. So, grass would mostly work against you. Psychic! Ah, damn it. Haha, <laughs> you missed! Confusion! Fine then, Psybeam! Ah, damn it. Well, at least he became confused. Keep side beaming him! And now hit yourself! Ha <laughs> ha! Finish it off with a confusion. Goblin leveled up! About to use Cloyster. I need to be careful, because that one knows a roar. Uh, I can't really use. Psychic. I was gonna send out my boy, Venusaur, but these guys know Aurora Beam and stuff. Which means that they can be quite the menace. Let's try! Please don't use a freeze attack. Damn you. At least it wasn't Aurora Beam, so maybe it shouldn't be too bad. Vine Whip. I will not change Pokemon. Razor Leaf! Nah, it almost did. Aha, she used a super potion. That's inefficient! Kill it with Razor Leaf, boy! I'm on the precarious position where a critical hit from them will kill me. Good job, Striker. About to use Jinx. Man, you're a double whammy, because you're a psychic as well, aren't you? We'll risk it. Super potion! I probably should have just thrown Goblin out, but oh well. How dare you punch my salad! I'm gonna throw out Charizard instead. I swear if this freezes my boy... Oh, because he's flying classified in this version! Fuck! Let's go for it, Fire Blast. Ah, damn it. 
Actually, not so damn it. Flamethrower! Haha, <laughs> I got so fucking lucky. But yeah, that's kind of silly. Kind of silly. I'm gonna throw out the goblin again because all my best Pokemon that are super effective against them are also weak to them. This version of the game is kind of whack. Because seriously, Charizard wasn't flying type in the original red and blue. They made him flying for this one, which just made him weak. I'm so scared, Billy. Ah, damn it. I didn't need to go down. We'll raise up Venusaur because we'll probably have to throw him out. Please hit yourself. Yay. Last move, last ditch effort, psychic! Psybeam. Keep up the pressure. Uh, of course you are. Ah, it doesn't even hit itself in the end. What glorious agony. My boy survived. Kill it with confusion. That was a close one. Mainly for keeping everyone alive. Because that's my goal. How dare you? You're an Elite Four. You're better than I thought. Go on ahead. You only got a taste of Pokemon League power. And time to heal up my team. Yeah, that is kind of silly. Well, then again, I probably should... Uh, yeah, because ice affects grass type. And so many of them were psychic. It's maddening. I am Bruno of the Elite Four. Through rigorous training, people of Pokemon can become stronger. I've weight trained with my Pokemon, Neon. We will grind you down with our superior power. Hooah! Eh, yeah, whatever you tell yourself at night, buddy. An Onyx, huh? Blastoise. <laughs> X-Defend? That won't save you at all. Surf! I told you it wouldn't save you. Who's next? He's sending out Hitmonchan. Go, Goblin! Now you're probably going to be the easiest one to take out. Psybeam! Ha <laughs> ha! Glorious. Good for you, Pikachu. Uh, Goblin can stay out there. This is no time to be cocky. This is time for type advantage. Uh, what's her name? Agatha is probably going to give us some trouble, I foresee. Because she's psychic and ghost. Venusaur. Another onyx. This one's for you, little buddy. Use it. Razor leaf. Crit and super effective stab! Always glorious to see. What's next? Ooh, the first Machamp of the game! Now that's cool. But all the same. Psybeam. 
I know I'm kind of being a little lazy relying on Goblin, but... Uh, the Elite Four scare me. And, uh, they would not hesitate to kill me, so I'm not hesitating either. Why? How could I lose? You'd have to face someone. My job is done. Go face your next challenge. Uh, do any of my Pokemon need healing? Actually, no. We went through that easy peasy. Time for Agatha. I am Agatha of the Elite Four. Oak's taken a lot of interest in you, child. That old duff was once tough and handsome. That was decades ago. Now he just wants to fiddle with his Pokedex. He's wrong. Pokemon are for fighting. Neon, I'll show you how a real trainer fights. This would have been so much more interesting uh, if they actually kept Professor Oak as a fight. Don't let him get anything off. Psychic! End it before it begins! Never mind. It missed. Confusion! Huzzah. Who's next? It's about to use Golbat. Yeah, this one's another job for the boy. Psybeam! Critical hit. He's about to use Haunter. Don't let up, Goblin! Psychic! Don't let it stun you! Yeah, I kind of neglected status effect heals, so I don't- I really don't want to get stunned. <laughs> Paralyzed. Poison Ghosts. Psybeam. You just set yourself up for the perfect type advantage for me! Psybeam's getting a lot of crits. I'm not complaining. And they're finishing it off with another Gengar, huh? Let's see. Another crit? Oh, wait. He used Psychic against me? For a moment there, I thought I'd misclicked. Well, he got a crit. Jesus. Will I get a crit? No, I will not. Psybeam! Ah, uh, surely he won't get a, a crit in a second time. Surely. He didn't. Jesus Christ, crits do a lot for attacks in this game. Ah, uh, crap. Kind of crap? Definitely crap. But this is what hyper potions are for. What you gonna do now? Oh yeah, I forgot, you don't have to worry about your you don't have to worry about that, do you? Confusion! Ooh. Be gone, Gengar. Woohoo! You're something special, child. You win. I see what the old Duff sees in you now. I have nothing else to say. Run along now, child. Hyper Potion. Heal up, my boy. Because now we have to fight Lance. Do, 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 ro, do, 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 do. Ah, I heard about you, Neon. I lead the Elite Four. You can call me Lance, the Dragon Trainer. You know that dragons are mythical Pokémon. They're hard to catch and raise, but their powers are superior. They're virtually indestructible. Well, are you ready to lose? 
Your league challenge ends with me. <laughs> you idiot! I'm beyond you! Though you do have a cool outfit. A Gyarados, huh? Let's see how we can go. Psychic! Oh! Please say you have to charge that! You don't! Ah, uh, of course it was a critical hit at that as well. Fine then. Venusaur! Let's see. Revive Goblin! Hopefully it won't hyper beam again. Haha! <laughs> Fool! Razor Leaf! My superior speed guarantees Razor Leaf's crit status! It wasn't very effective, why? Ah, uh, so you're a bastard, aren't you? What second typing makes you invulnerable? That's very annoying. I don't know who else to use, then. Except maybe. Let's see if you can survive a blizzard, Gyarados. Blizzard! Ah, crap. You're quite annoying, you know that. This is what happens when you don't level up your Pokémon. Maybe I shouldn't have thrown away all those rare candies. Blizzard! Haha, <laughs> you missed! Bubble Beam! I don't care! Bubble Beam again! Get out of here! It's about to send out Dragon Air, eh? Do I have anything good for flying types? Because surely he'd be labeled flying. Hmm. I'll keep Blastoise out and heal my boy. Ah, Dragonair. Good thing. It's the pre evolution of Dragon Knight. That was what I was thinking of. I heard Dragon is like, oh yeah, that one. Thunderbolt! So you do have a trick up your sleeve. And of course it was a critical hit at that. Alright, go Goblin! Psychic! Haha, <laughs> you missed. This won't though! Get out of here! Now he's about to use another Dragonair. Revive the boy! You are just an all-rounder, aren't you? Psybeam! Ha 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 that did a... Uh, of course you would. Fine then, Psychic! Shows me to go easy on you. Level 50 for the boy! Aerodactyl. Maybe Venusaur can finally do something. Surely it's flying type. And it's level 60. Quick, Razor Leaf! 
Oh, I forgot! I mixed up my typings again. For some reason, flying is just eludes me on how things work. Hey, Pikachu, you want to try your best? You're probably gonna die. I'm gonna, I'm gonna revive the boy. Ah, a normal attack. Ah, crit. That explains that. Like I said, Pokemon Crit Edition. Psybeam! Quit critting my Pokemon! Yeah, I became confused at that. Time to... Hyper Potion my own Pokemon. We can all play this funny little game called life. Hit yourself! Yeah. Now this is perfect time to heal up my Pokemon. I retract my statement. You just love using Hyper Potions as much as I do, don't you? Ah, fun. Wasn't even a crit that time. It's just a bullshit attack. Hydro Pump! You're a fuck! I don't want to use my max revives too frivolously. I don't think Fly does much to a Blastoise, does it? Ah, oh, it was a critical hit, I was about to say. A very mean thing about your family. I... Would it kill you to freaking highlight the Pokemon that's out game? That's annoying. Psychic. Fuck off! <laughs> that is super annoying. And now it's gonna come down and crit my guy again. You are an annoying asshole, Lance. Jesus Christ, highlight the proper Pokemon! Read my mind, Game Boy Game! Confusion. Fuck off! Sacrificial lamb, go! Hey, you wanna play this game? Fly! How come he gets to go first when he uses fly, but I don't? You are an asshole of a trainer, Lance. Charizard. For variety. Fire Blast! Of course. But he does get burned, so he'll die eventually. And now you're gonna use Hyper Potions, aren't you? Because you're a little baby coward, aren't you, Lance? But that is super annoying, that is just like, his fly always came out first, but mine never did. Aha, even if it uses fly now, it's gonna die. Screw you, Lance man. Thank you, Burn. And I think he even halved his attack because, if I'm correct, that's what Burn also does. I don't know. I'm not a, a knowledgeable dragon person. Yeah. No? 
Wrong one. Fire Blast! Ah, crap. And it knows thunder, and Charizard is frickin' flying in this one. Who knew that an extra typing could be so annoying? Blastoise! Blizzard! Freeze him solid, please! Oh, well, you'll just kill him. That's it! I hate to admit it, but you are a Pokémon master. I still can't believe my dragons lost to you, Neon. You are now the Pokémon League champion! Or you would have been. But you have one more challenge ahead. You have to face another trainer. His name is Gary. He... He beat the Elite Four before you. He's the real Pokémon League champion. And now I get to prepare my team. Gotta revive all my sacrificial lambs, and probably even look into using uh, an elixir, because I think those should... No, not an elixir, but an ether on Blastoise and Goblin. At least one of those. Just to bring up everything to snuff. And now we get to beat Gary. But that was tough. But it, luckily, this is why it got revives, and probably why they don't sell max revives in there. <laughs> but let's see. Max elixir, no, no. Max ether. Goblin. Uh, I say psychic. And psybeam. Alright, here we go. Hey! I was looking forward to seeing you, Neon! My rival should be strong to keep me sharp. While working on Pokedex, I looked all over for powerful Pokémon. Not only that, I assembled teams that would beat any Pokémon type. And now, I'm the Pokémon League Champion. Neon, do you know what that means? I'll tell you! I'm the most powerful trainer in the world! At least until I beat you. Goblin! We can't afford to change. Psychic! Oh, he knows Earthquake! Okay! That's rude. Did a lot of damage to my boy. Quick! Serve him! Serves up! Get out of here! Booyah! Ah, levels all abound. Cool. Hmm. I'll send out Pikachu, see if I can buy time. So we can get our Alka's, well, our... Double team! Luckily, that's not what I was going for. Max Revive! On the goblin! Thunderbolt! <laughs> I like that bit there. That, uh, that like, tinkling sound they used. Bye-bye, Pikachu. You were sacrificial. Oh, 
was about to send out freaking Venusaur again. Why do I keep thinking, oh yeah, this will work. This won't because it'll just one-shot him. Because he's an asshole. I want to throw sand in his eyes. Come on, Striker, survive. You survived! Throw sand in his eye! Hyper potion to the boy. Now, wing attack! Of course he would. See how much damage that does. I'm gonna use fly now. Ah, oh, come on! He'll probably get a crit now, so my hopes and dreams go down the drain. Yep, it was a crit. Knew that would happen. Then I shall send out Charizard. Flamethrower! I hate Kinesis. Like I said, I hate Kinesis. I hate it. Maybe I should frickin' put on X accuracy. Or I'll just keep doing that. Please survive, Charizard boy! Ha-ha! Knock him out of the running! Normal, normal attacks do wonders against Psychic. Apparently. No, we'll keep out the boy. And we'll put on a Hyper Potion for the boy! Hopefully that shouldn't do too much. Depends on how many barrages get off. Ah, it's gonna be forever. Will you please stop? Now. Fire Blast! Of course. Fire Blast! Stupid Kinesis. Uh, well, it did burn him at least. So we get to watch him burn himself to death. Okay. How dare you stomp on the boy. And just because we can, Hyper Potion, because he's burning and he's asleep, so, yeah. It's not like we have much to worry about even from a crit stomp attack. I could have probably used that as an opportunity to revive the fodder. Yeah. Well, might as well. I have a bunch of revives. Revive the fodder! So sad that my Pikachu is fodder, but what do you know? And revive Pikachu. Also fodder. And he'll just barrage himself to death. Barraging my sleeping Charizard while he's slowly dying to a burn. That's kind of a, quite the sight. And, uh, hmm. He's nearing half health, and that's always a scary zone to be at in a Pokemon battle when crits are a thing. Come on, couldn't you try another hypnosis? Or are you actually intelligent? still asleep, even if he didn't. Oh well. He just barraged himself to death while my Charizard slept. I find that hilarious. Bye-bye. That was kind of hilarious. About to use nine tails, eh? Blastoise! We are woefully underleveled, but we can still do this. Hydro Pump! Blast that nine tails out of here! Maybe even get a crit! Well, it's super effective either way. Now, Bubble Beam. 
Uh, of course you have Confuse Ray. You have to hurt my feelings, too. Yeah, he went through that. Yeah. Super cool. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm allergic to being confused. It's about to use Magneton. Well, so now, Venusaur. Uh, let's see if Razor Leaf does good. Why not? Well, that's not a Pokemon yet. Why not comes... I actually don't know what generation Why not comes in. My memory's shot. Jesus Christ! Swift! Another Razor Leaf! Quick! Make him suffer! Make him bleed! Oh no. I never did have a good answer to these guys. Razor Leaf again. Electric types have been my bane throughout this playthrough, but so have ice types, and I've only ran into one team of those. It's like they knew. Just use Swift! Just use Swift! And hey, guess what? Hey, Gary! Hyper Potion. <laughs> Reset. <laughs> I guess that does make sense, because he's using a normal attack, but... Well, at the same time, would Swift be considered special or normal? You're throwing stars at your enemy. So I don't even know. Either way, he goes bye-bye. And in the end... Vaporeon. Vaporeon will fall. To Razor Leaf. Ah, shit. Shroud in a mist, Razor Leaf. It began as it ended. Razor Leaf. <laughs> oh God! I just realized this game will be will be end as it began with critical hits. Or maybe it won't. Oh well. Hey, Goblin. Finish off this Orion. Psychic. I was gonna laugh if I actually ended it with a crit razor leaf. Because critical hit edition and this little abomination defeated my Pikachu at the start of the game with a crit. Or because of a crit, either way. But it failed! Psybeam! Woefully underleveled, I win. But that's probably because I cheesed the hell out of the game with items. But if that, that's what Pokemon is all about. Cheese. Take that, Gary. No! That can't be! You beat my best! After all that work to become League Champ? My reign is over already? It's not fair! Why? Why did I lose? I never made any mistakes raising my Pokemon. Darn it! You're the new Pokemon League Champion. Although I don't like to admit it. Neon! Need to get my oak voice in there. So, you won! Congratulations! You're the new Pokemon League Champion! You've grown up so much since you first left with Pikachu. Neon, you have come of age. Gary, I'm disappointed. I came when I heard you beat the Elite Four, but when I got here you had already lost. Gary, do you understand why you lost? You have forgotten to treat your Pokémon with trust and love. Without them, you will never become a champ again. Neon, you understand that your victory was not just your own doing. The bond you share with your Pokémon is marvelous. Come with me. I mean, I threw Pokémon out there as sacrificial lambs, so I don't know if that really counts. <clears throat> Congratulations, Neon. This floor is the Pokémon Hall of Fame. Pokemon League champions are honored for their exploits here. Their Pokemon are also recorded in the Hall of Fame. Neon, you have endeavored hard to become the new League champion. Congratulations, Neon. You and your Pokemon are Hall of Famers. Da 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 da. Goblin, level 50. 
I forgot they did this. This is so cool. Pikachu! My poor, poor Pikachu. That I didn't really do much with. Charizard, level 45. It's extra flying type added in type yellow. Screwed me over hard. Striker, level 43. Didn't really do much in the later half of the game, but oh well. Venusaur, level 48. Yep, it is type 2 poison. You know, like other type is poison. Blue. Blastoise, level 48. And finally, me. I seen 134. Pokedex rating. You finally got at least 50 species. Be sure to get the experience off from my aid. Uh, this was a lot of fun. Pokemon Generation 1. I should give my overall thoughts, even though... But should we go after Mewtwo? Because there's no real point to... Like, even in the original game, there's not much point to except he's the only... <laughs> post-game. Even in the remakes, he's still the end of the post-game, which is kind of sad. I kind of wish that Mewtwo tied in more with the, like, I don't know. It could just be me so latched on to, oh, Mewtwo is tied to Team Rocket because of the Pokemon Mewtwo Strikes Back, but I would have been super happy if, like, Mewtwo tied into, like, the main story... ...somehow. And just... I don't know. If Mewtwo... If you could have gotten Mewtwo before the end of the game. Just because that's kind of how my brain goes when it comes to, like content in a video game. I want to do a lot of as much of the stuff in the game as possible and then run into the end game with what I want. And you can't really do that because, oh, the post game. Which, uh, that could just be me not gelling with a Pokemon general decision, but eh, you know, you know. I still kind of understand it, but because at the same time, Mewtwo is fucking busted in this game. But at the same time, is the, you know, I think one thing that dictates why I will probably go after Mewtwo is actually quite a short stream, because I, even though I did run into things, hmm, is it, are we, wait to go. The end. So now we have to go again. We now logged into the Hall of Fame. Continue. Yeah, since <laughs> all my people are still down, we gotta heal. Mom, I'm the Pokemon champion. If you drive your Pokemon too hard, they'll dislike you. You should take a rest. But now... There's one thing left to do, since this is quite a short stream. All things considered, I thought uh, Victory Road went on a bit longer. We shall fly to Cerulean City. We will go to Cerulean Cave. And we will use the Master Ball to capture Mewtwo. Purely because I don't trust my frickin' inventory. I didn't even use it, the X accuracies. Alright, deposit items. I will deposit the X accuracies. I will deposit the Super Rod. I will deposit guard spec, and I will withdraw. Here, Master Ball. Because there's only one Pokemon left for me to capture. Damn it, now I want to... My brain is just like, I have a million things I want to do. One of those things being, get Let's Go Eevee. Uh, thoughts for later. <laughs> I did my best. I have no regrets. Silly nugget bridge people. Alright, Blastoise. 
We're going to the Cerulean Cave to capture Miatu. Here we go. We gotta get there. Now that we have, this is just like really feeding my Pokemon addiction. I just wanted to find a bunch of Pokemon, do a bunch of Pokemon stuff. But at the same time, I will uh, carve it up a little bit. Where I play like one other game in between Pokemon. So that I don't just flood myself and typecast myself as the Pokemon people. I want to say something, but I don't want to jinx it. I'm not going to jinx it. I jinxed it. <laughs> we went so long without a fight. A level 50 frickin' Graveler. But yeah. There's so many, like, Pokemon things I kind of want to get now. And kind of do now. Thoughts for later. I will ponder what to do later. Um, yeah, Blastoise, because there might be Golbats in here, which will absolutely wreck my boy. Now, oh, speak of the devil. You know this is endgame. Blizzard! Surf. I forgot that I was kind of meaning to buy the Max Repels, or whatever it's called. The Hyper Repels. But... Yeah. Now I kind of just want to play all the Pokemon? Come on. Super so many Pokemon things I want to do. Like I said, I'll, like, play one game on stream and then go back and do another Pokemon game, like, give myself breather, so I don't just flood myself with Pokemon and grow sick of it. Go, Goblin! They are harassing my Pokemon! I'll have to look and see what games you can, like, actually catch Mewtwo in. Just as an experiment. Never mind, we're just running- it's like the moment I changed over to Blastoise because, oh, rocks! Uh, it's just like the game decided, oh, fine, screw you. Only poison types for now on. Ah, so you are an asshole game. <laughs> How dare you? It knows that I'm trying to do, and so decides to annoy me. Silence. Spam call. Nobody likes you, spam call. Finally, a super effective battle for me. Man, I seriously wonder why we went so long without a fight there for a while. It's just like luck, I guess. Yeah, this is just a giant maze. Damn it. I definitely went the wrong way there. Go away, girl bad. Nobody loves you, not even your family. And all things considered, I'd say that the Elite Four went rather well. Sure, once again, kind of cheesed it with revives, but hey, 
I didn't even get max revives. Because that's what you're going to catch Mewtwo in. An Ultra Ball. Dear God, I wonder if there's somebody out there that's like, I'm going to catch all the legendaries with a normal Pokeball. I'm annoyed at the typing in this cave. It's like, oh, you want to be able to go through with just one Pokemon? No. I just want to be able to use my Blastoise. I can't even use my Blastoise all that much because it throws Gold Bats at me. And then the moment I stop using Gold, uh, my Gold Bat destroying... Ay ay ay, it's just annoying. It's like the game knows. It's all RNG, but it feels like it knows. It's just that weird thing where you feel like... Like, even though it is actually random, there's no way that it actually is cheesing against you. It's that, like, a... Uh, I forget what it's called. I guess you could call it, like, a victim bias. Where you feel like every all the patterns are coming together. It has to be against you. When it's just like, no, that's just RNG for you. Come on! Can't even go two steps without running into another bastard. Leave alone. Leave me alone, gold bat! Let me alone! Hmm. For some reason I've thought of a thing, but I forget what it's related to. I think it's like, there's a certain game out there, and you can grind on enemies, but if you grind a certain enemy, it will eventually stop appearing. Wow, double level up, cool. But I forget what game that is. I just forget everything. Be gone, Goldie Bat. Nobody loves you. Not even your own family. He's just like, aha, I don't even have a family. Which I would buy. He's a monster. Ate his own children. God, now the thought of a Pokemon serial killer isn't in my mind. Jesus Christ, how disturbing. Happy music, music for rare candy. Is there a downside to using rare candy? For some reason, a part of me wants to say there is. Another Ultra Ball. You know, it... <laughs> oh, I think I remembered a thing. Like, I think it's like a, a fan, like, theory, quote-unquote. Basically the ones that are kind of like... Let us try to rationalize this video game, but less in a this is what it actually is kind of way, and more in just like a fun brain teaser kind of way. And people imagine that when you find an item just in a Pokeball, that's because a trainer, like, died and their Pokemon faded away within the Pokeball. Disturbing. Hmm. A part of me kind of wishes that you could choose which Pokemon to send out, but that's kind of, oh, your first Pokemon. But I mean, like, It'd be kind of nice if you could be like, oh, I'm running into a Sand Slash. I will send out my Blastoise. Just like that kind of choice. But no, it's the first one in your team, which is a little restrictive and doesn't really follow like how it actually works. Like how it would actually work in a Pokemon world. It's not like... Like, at least, like, uh, give us, like, our top three. 
if you're like, oh, it's because you're sending out a Pokemon so fast, because a wild Pokemon's running at you, you'd still be able to choose, like, your first top three. I don't know, it's just, like, small things that still aren't, and, like, the reason I'm bringing that up is because it's still not in Pokemon. It's still following the formula of, uh, oh, your first Pokemon is the one that you send out. It's like, I don't know. Heebity jeebies. Maybe there's a reason that they do it the way they do. That they specifically send out your first Pokemon. God damn it, that's me just getting into the groove of spamming buttons. Because I don't think you can rearrange moves in this game. Will I go the way of the item or progress? It looks like progress. Yay! Foolish Golbat, I will murder you! Also kind of funny that the max level in this game is 100, and I'm... I was below <laughs> half of the max level cap when I beat the game. And this game has no post-game. I forget if the remakes add post-game. I think Fire Red and Leaf Green add something, but I don't know if Let's Go Eevee Pikachu adds anything. I do not know. I do not. No. Will you leave me alone, ground types? I'm off to gather your leader. Your leader. <laughs> that just led to the same place. It's a giant maze where you get lost forever. And you do have to wonder. Because, like, Pokemon have to murder people in this universe, right? I mean, Team Rocket murdered a Marowak, so why isn't the reverse here? That's why some of these things, like... Why would you just find a random escape? Oh, and now I'm reminded of the thing. One time I just walked up to one of... Uh, a lone tree. And an escape rope... Came out. A rope... In a tree... Yeah. There's probably something missing. I'm coming, Mewtwo. Coming for your ass. I found a Max Elixir. That is the one downside of Pokemon. You can't really make these dungeons really interesting? Unless they're like puzzles, and there's only so many puzzles you can really do to a certain degree. Unless you go like full adventure game. Which I, would, I wouldn't mind to a degree. I would kind of like if Pokemon did more dungeon puzzles. Who knows, maybe they do, and I'm just being like, oh, I'm a dum-dum who hasn't played the latest games in five billion years. I... The latest game I played was Y, and I barely played it. I got a Sylveon, and that, that satisfied me. I, know I did never beat the game, for whatever reason. Probably depression. I'll have to get around and actually beat it this time, then. Why are there two Pokeballs there? That's disturbing. But yeah, in my, this Poke-Marathon... Maybe I'll get around to playing Pokemon X. Only time will tell. If I'm even here. Another Ultra Ball. Isn't there a thing that the... Uh, because there's like the... What's the other ball? There's Pokeball, some other ball, and then Ultra Ball. I forget. Brain go smush. Oh, hey, a wild Rhyhorn. Rhydon. Nah. It was level 60, so it might have had good experience, but. 
Hey, a Chansey! You can catch them here and not in Safari Zone, I guess. Cool. Another Ultra Ball! They're just giving you Ultra Balls! How many high-level trainers died in this place to drop this many Ultra Balls? One can only wonder. Of course you survive with one HP. How dare you die? Keep forgetting that I can do this. There he is. Since we're gonna use the Master Ball, because... <laughs> well, at the same, same time, maybe we could try and fight him. Maybe, maybe. Because I'm dumb, and I'm worried to tr <laughs> willing to try. Unless the game keeps throwing them at me. Be gone, Satan. Hello, Shamu. La 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 la. Hello there. Mewtwo. I will throw someone in front. Charizard, I guess. And let's see if we can fight and capture you. Mew. Also kind of funny that there's only so much foreshadowing. Ooh, that is a really good sprite. That is a really good sprite. Level 70. Oh, God. Fire Blast! See if we can kind of catch it legitimately a bit. Uh, Slash? Okay, no, another reason why Master Ball is preferable. But at the same time, I kind of want... ...to try my hand at legitimately capturing you. Fire Blast! It's on the defensive. Now I feel like an asshole. Well, there we go, and this is probably gonna kill my dude in one go because it's like a 30 level difference. Oh, yeah, and I forgot, he's the most powerful Pokemon in the entire game. So, yeah. Back to Master Ball. Because there's only. Unless, actually, how about a funny? I'll use all the Ultra Balls I got and then use the Master Ball. I missed. Which will happen? My last Pokemon? My last Pokemon? Or my last Pokeball, which is Master Ball? Go, Ultra Ball! It missed. These aren't even gonna land. So, okay, Master Ball. Alright, I caught you two. <laughs> its DNA is almost the same as Mew's. However, its size and disposition are vastly different. The most powerful Pokemon will keep his name. And that be... Pokemon. Well, I guess I'm stuck here. This is what you get for not bringing in escape rope. My bad. I don't have an escape rope, right? Nope. All those items didn't give me escape rope. But I think we'll end that there, because there's not really a reason to leave. At least not immediately. I have a level 70 Pokemon now. <laughs> that I can't really use. But oh well. That's Pokemon Yellow. 
a fun, fun time. So what are my overall thoughts on Pokemon Yellow while I'm here, stuck in damnation? Overall, very flawed, but very fun as well. It's like, it depends on your mindset. Very much. And also, it doesn't help that it's been like 5 billion years, so I don't know how much different this is to the current Pokemon games. So, basically, it definitely requires a certain perspective. You need to know what you're going into. You need to know that Pokemon Yellow is old, is weird, it has strange differences, but it's still fun. Silence fun. It's still fun. But you just you need that mindset. And probably some level of guide. It's just like, the top ten Pokemon yellow, red, and blue tips. And like, they even bring some of the limitations back for Fire Red and Leaf Green, which is a little weird. Like, you can't evolve Crobat or Ch like uh, Golbat or Chansey, which is a little weird. But Yellow from Generation 1 is a very interesting uh, being. It changes a lot of things from Red and Blue. Well, Red and, <laughs> Red and Blue, which already had changes from Red and Green. Because it goes Red and Green, re-release Blue, which then became American Blue and gr uh, Red, which then became Pokemon Yellow. Which is especially interesting that Pokemon Yellow was made to advertise the anime. And aside from the Ash Greninja event thing, they don't really do that. Which I think is a pity. I think that the Pokemon anime should have its... I think, really, I think there should be more Pokemon anime-centric video games. Just because, I don't know. That interests me. Yeah, never, oh yeah, I guess I missed out on Moltres and Zapdos, but unless you're actively using them, that's the kind of thing. Pokemon Yellow and the rest of Gen 1 in general is kind of shallow. Is ever so slightly shallow. And that's kind of the sad thing. The kind of sad thing. <laughs> A part of me kind of wonders, I wonder if I should hack in... Mewtwo at the beginning of Pokemon Gold or Silver or whatever I choose to do or Crystal next, but eh, that's thoughts for later. And plus, I'm not sure if people would enjoy that. Oh, you added a legendary, even if I like force it to like level five or something at the start. I don't know. <laughs> Brain does thing. Thoughts for later. But yeah, of the things that annoyed me, it was mostly the certain craziness, like when I first fought Giovanni and his Persian just ignored sand attack and tail whip and all the, like, stat affecting uh, uh, moves. And I guess that was guard spec? Because that never happened again. But at the same time, I think that was also the kind of cliff's edge where I went from using, like, strategy moves and then just, like, went hard on super effective and crit moves and stab. Didn't really catch that many Pokemon, but eh. Oh yeah, and uh, screw Bellsprout. Bellsprout is the worst Pokemon ever, purely because this game did the weird thing where rap uh, continued forever and didn't let you move except for withdrawing Pokemon and healing Pokemon. So that was just like such a weird and annoying move that wasted my time. And if a Bellsprout was faster than you, you were doomed, locked into hell. And not, and yeah, a lot of people, or at least from what I've read, the Gen 1 games should function on a very, like, low AI, where it's mostly just choosing attacks at random. But it did seem like the Pokemon were using certain moves. Like, sometimes it would wig out and be like, <laughs> double team a million times in a row, and then I'd just nuke them to death. But... Other times, they were, like, specifically seeming to use special attacks or, or special effect... Uh, it's super effective moves. Or using certain strategies. And it's just like, I don't know. Is it actually? I don't know. But in the end, I had fun with Pokemon Yellow. It's not a Pokemon game that I would replay a lot. But I don't know. Like, I wouldn't say no to replaying it in the future, maybe. 
no idea. Maybe when I'm famous in five million years, I'll do a Polka Marathon and play all the games back to back to back in a huge thing. I don't know. Thoughts for later. But what other things? Uh, other things they changed in Pokemon Yellow, they added Jesse and James, but they kind of felt token to a degree because they only showed up in three-ish places, but hey, I enjoyed their inclusion. They, it was a very cool thing. They added new sprites and gave them their iconic team, so I enjoyed that. What else, what else? They also moved around certain uh, gym and Elite Four champion Pokemon, giving them new ones, or changing the ones they had, and I think even changing their moves. Oh yeah, and the weird thing, <laughs> they made Charizard a flying type, because I guess enough people were sad that the winged started Pokemon couldn't learn fly in uh, the first version of the game. But then, <laughs> that came to screw me. Because then I just ran, tr tried to use him against everything that he was super effective against him. Because I just kept forgetting, oh yeah, he's flying type now. Yeah, a lot of annoyances, but a lot of fun in the end. And there's not really much else to say. I guess I'll continue off of the thing that I was mentioning earlier. I kind of wish that Mewtwo was the plot of the game. You know what I mean? Because there isn't really much to this game, story-wise. It's just, go forth, young child. Fill out my encyclopedia for me. And uh, then Mewtwo and Team Rocket are really the only, like, overarching thing in the game otherwise. It's you, the Pokedex, your rival, and then... The anomalous only foreshadowed in one building on Cinnabar Island, uh, <laughs> Mewtwo, and then Giovanni and his Team Rocket Racket. So I kind of wish that, like, they made, like, the... They made off, like, the, uh, Mewtwo Strikes Back, uh, although it's entirely possible Mewtwo Strike Back didn't exist yet because this is still Gen 1, even though this is meant to advertise the anime, I f completely forget when Mewtwo Strikes Back was made and released. But, I don't know. I just kind of wish that Mewtwo and Team Rocket were more story-based, because Team Rocket is all over the place in this game, but they don't really do anything. Oh, they stole a TM. Oh, they uh, killed a Marowak. And it's just like, it's just small, innocuous things that they don't really do. Like, you don't see, they're just there, and then you stop them. It's weird. I just wish that it, there was something more to their story. Although it would be kind of hard because it's like, uh, you're, you're doing the gym challenge and then going to Indigo Plateau. So making them too big might detract from the store, like, or the flow of the game or something. I don't know. I don't know. But. I do not know. I just feel like... Could have been a thing. Could have been a thing thing. Because then again, I'm coming from the mind space of... I kind of wish that you could get Mewtwo before the Elite Four. Like, that's kind of my mindset of, like, get more legendary Pokemon or cool Pokemon along the way. Uh, especially because the the post-game for this game is so shallow. But I just kind of be like, eh, couldn't you bump that back a little bit? <laughs> like, uh, sure, they'd have to tweak things, but I just... I feel like there should have been a more... It would have been cool. Like, this thing. I'm not, oh, I feel like there should be. It's like, it would have been cool. That's kind of the thing I should preface all that with. It would have been cool if there was more story with Team Rocket and Mewtwo before the Elite Four. And, uh, but at the same time, this was the first generation of Pokemon. Apparently, it kind of went through some level of, uh, development hell, I think. I mean, for God's sakes, it went red and green in Japan 
and then they made the blue version and then ported the blue version as red and blue to America and then made the yellow version. Gen 1 was all over the place. They changed sprites a bunch. They did a bunch of wacky things and there were so many bugs. It's just like, Gen 1 is a mess. And it's just a really, a, a, a testament to how hard Game Freak worked to make it work in the end. So, while I am disappointed that the, uh, like, Team Rocket and Mewtwo don't really get a super engaging story, like, you can't help but be like, hey, they still did a good job with this game in the end. Other games are better, uh, but I think people give Gen 1 a little bit of a bad rap to a certain degree. But at the same time, it will definitely, we'll definitely have to see how my thoughts change when I go and experience the other games. Now I need to decide what game to play next, because I, like I said, want there to be a little bit of a break in Pokemon games. And uh, maybe even break in RPGs, so I'll be like, I need to find an action game to pay, play next time uh, on stream. But yeah, in the end, Pokemon Yellow, super interesting, kind of weird to play after only playing Pokemon Blue all my life. Like, as the only Gen 1 game I've played. I think I played Fire Red, but maybe not all the way, it's been a while. <laughs> it's been years. But yeah, Pokemon Yellow, fun, interesting, weird, a mess, kind of broken, but a, a still quite a bit of fun. Still a lot of fun. And I think that is it. I have been Neon Icy Wings, and this has been Pokemon Yellow Critical Hit Edition. If you want more from me, you can hit me up on YouTube. All my VODs of these streams are going up on the Neon Icy Games channel because... Oh, I want to do editing, edited special content on my main channel. Blah. Yeah, you know the song and dance. You can also find me on Twitch, Twitter, Tumblr, and Newgrounds, and all of that. Social media shenanigans. I drew a picture that you can see on my Twitter. Mwaha! But, yes, thank you very much for watching. And I will see you dudes next time. Bye-bye.